Hey, what's up guys? It's the Eagle, aka Randy, and I'm bringing you a gameplay on Modern Warfare 3 on the map Interchange, playing a bit of free for all. Um, and let me just say, I really love Interchange, especially for free for all, especially for like domination and stuff like that, because we all know how MW3 spawns are pretty much the most amazing spawn system that any Call of Duty series has or has had. And I'm being facetious or, or sarcastic if you didn't really get that. So, yeah. Um, uh, before I actually get into anything, I, I want to say thank you, GameVid, so much. It really does mean a lot to me when a commentator such as your size, like uh, 70, 100, um, uh, like 70,000 uh, subscribers, um, is helping out like a channel like my size, which has like 30 subs. So I do appreciate that, man. Uh, I thank you, and you know, hopefully I don't let you down. So anyways, uh, um, I fast forward the first part of this vid mainly because it was really slow and this is a this is a Moab a flawless Moab gameplay but it was like eight minutes and stuff like that so I, I'm sure you guys didn't want to sit here for the whole eight minutes and watch it even though I just cut it down by like uh, 30 seconds or so so uh, but anyways let me get on you know with this commentary first I do want to introduce myself uh, like I said my name is Randy I'm a college student and uh, I'm 20 years old I'm I am pretty busy uh, from time to time uh, I have my own channel obviously and that's why I don't really uh, post that much because I do get busy I post about like twice a week um, but the things that I post is pretty much uh, helpful tips for you know generally the newer player in Call of Duty and stuff like that so what I like doing is uh, I, I especially I, I just like using a whole bunch of different weapons and stuff so um, uh, you know, if you're into a variety of, uh, of gameplays and all that jazz, then go ahead, check out my channel. If not, it's cool. Um, Watching Gamers actually has two other great commentators who I think are a lot better than me, um, Vagino and Derosion. So go ahead and check out their channels if you're interested as well. Anyways, let me get on with the main topic for this gameplay, and that is helping out the you know newer players get their first smoke. This more than likely doesn't pertain to everybody, because I'm sure you guys are all great players. Uh, you mean you're subscribed to watching gamers, so obviously you guys are all great players. You don't need really need the help, but for those who uh, are pretty new to Call of Duty and you know can't really get their first smoke, I'm sure these tips will help you out because. Uh, personally, I'm not that great in the game, but I've gotten like five mobs, uh, one in infected, so I'm not sure if, how much that really counts. But, and really, I'm just following these tips. So, the first tip I want to use is use a gun you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable comfortable with the ACR, use the ACR. The Type 95, go for it. MP7, knock yourself out. FMG 9s, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate, but knock yourself silly. Just go for it, man. Use a gun you're comfortable with, because obviously you are going to get your mob when you're using a gun you're comfortable with. When you're using a gun that you can run around with and not feel like you're going to die every corner you turn. So go ahead and use the gun you're really comfortable with. Another thing is your perk setup. I always start off with Scavenger, Hardline, and dead silence especially when I'm running uh, and free-for-all if I'm at um, let's see if I'm at like um, domination or something like that then maybe I substitute dead silence with marksman but I'm playing free-for-all so I don't want to be distracted by my own footsteps because I generally do get distracted by my own footsteps a lot of times when I play free-for-all so I put dead silence on and uh, eventually I'll unlock sit rep and when I do unlock sit rep it is just like terror you you know, if you do use a headset or you do sound whore a lot, you become this sound whoring king, and it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, when you're playing um, free for all, you definitely want to rock specialist because you don't want your kill streaks to get in your way of getting the mob. So for specialist, what I'm using is slide of hand because I love, I hate the sluggish feeling I get when I'm not rocking slide of hand, and the ACR does have a fast reload time without slide of hand. But still, I, 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 I like this fast feeling. I'm also using Assassin just in case anybody, um, uh, just, in, just actually just so my name doesn't really show up uh, when people aim down sights at me. Another thing I'm using is, uh, like I said, Sit Rep Pro. And I probably should have unlocked Sit Rep Pro a lot earlier than that, uh, than it being the sixth perk. But, I mean, I do end up getting it, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But, yeah, pretty much. Um, a lethal combination is dead silent sit rep pro and a headset and that's another thing I do want to mention is you know be aware of your surroundings like 
if you're using Sit Rep Pro, if you're using Dead Silence, you can obviously be aware of your surroundings because you can hear everybody else's footsteps. And because you're not running around with the team because it's free for all, then you can, um, you're not really distracted by other people's footsteps. And I hate when Call of Duty does that. Like, I, I really think they should take away, um, the ability to hear your friend, you know, friendly's footsteps because, uh, I don't think that's effective at all. I think that actually throws off the player. It definitely throws me off, so. That's just my opinion, though. Um, so, yeah, definitely use that. It definitely, if you're using a headset, go for it. I'm using the X31 headset. Thank you to my girlfriend. She actually got that for me. Um, the X31s were like $100, I think, in Walmart or in, and uh, Target, maybe, or something like that. You know, places that sell headsets. So, uh, And they're really effective, too. But there, I'm sure there's like a $60, $50 one that are a lot cheaper that are just as great, though. Um, I think the X11s are pretty good too. So definitely use a headset, especially if you're rocking the Sit Rep Pro Dead Silence combination. Another thing you want to do is pretty much what I'm doing right here is playing conservative. You see the a portable radar, you're probably about to see it in a minute. Um, I place a portable radar right there on top of the dumpster. That's pretty much uh place there because i'm in like a major spawn point uh they spawn right here behind that forklift where i just killed off that guy and they also spawn right here where i'm about to head to um and right behind this truck so pretty much i'm at a major spawn point that's what you want to do you want to control this area you want to control the area i'm actually aiming down site that's another great place to control is the a uh, flag side and the c flag side where i was at in the beginning of the match if you're controlling an area especially in the map like interchange you pretty much dominate the whole free-for-all so i definitely recommend you know just uh doing that here i pick off the mob um so that's pretty much it as far as tips goes. I, I get a double kill here, so, um, you know, that was pretty epic right before the mob. Um, I also knife the air because uh, knife the air makes the mob legit. So thanks you, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, GameVids, for this opportunity. Um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Watching Gamers. Um, I think Watching Gamers has a lot of potential, and I think y'all will be surprised of, you know, what a few small commentators can do. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the other commentators as well. Um, and go ahead and check out my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.